What's going on guys? Mission Impossible Fallout opens this week. I had the opportunity to sit down with the cast, including Mr. Henry Cavill. Check it out. The moment where you kind of cocked your arms. Right. Uh, how did that moment come together? That was just an off-the-cuff idea. Just one of the takes I did it. It just felt right. And and I went from there and, uh, and it stayed in the movie. In general, what's your process for getting into character? Typically my process involves just knowing knowing the script as well as I can. And the, the script is evolving and moving as it was. I just trusted McHugh as much as I possibly could. It was, speak to McHugh about where we were, is anything changed? He'd always tell me if anything was changing. So it was a wonderful collaborative process. Gotcha. Is there pressure to top yourselves every time? <laughs> and how do you guys approach that? That always makes me laugh when people ask me that because in the UK, um, top yourself is a euphemism for suicide. <laughs> uh, if you say I'm gonna top myself, it means please don't, I'm gonna end it all. How do you go about developing the physical appearance of a character in any role that you take on? I think the physicality of a character is extremely important. It wasn't so much a matter of a, you know, very lean six pack kind of shape like Superman was, because there's, there's no shirtless aspect to this. Right. But I had to look like I was the hammer for the CIA. Yeah, so uh, you didn't have to do as many sit-ups for this role. No, no, I didn't have to do many sit-ups for this role. The helicopter sequence, it was so crazy and out of control. How dangerous in real life was that? There's Tom's helicopter and Henry's helicopter, and then there's the camera helicopter, and then there's my helicopter. And then there's a medevac helicopter in case anything goes wrong. That's the most nervous I've ever been. How do the physical traits of the character inform the performance in the film? If you, if you want something destroyed in a china shop, in the corner of the china shop, you let a, loose a bull in there. Mm -hmm. You are 100% sure that thing's gonna be destroyed. That's what August Walker is. If you were to fire a dart through the china shop to hit one plate, you're not necessarily 100% sure it's gonna work, right? And it's always like a high tension moment. That's an Ethan Hunt kind of thing. And that's what August prides himself on. So in this movie, you play a real heavyweight, very intimidating. This team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. Do you ever shift gears into that in real life? Like if you're ever in like a bad customer service type situation? Very rarely, I think. But maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I think I'm nicer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that you're gonna play this type of aggressive character, the hammer, the bull, does that affect your mindset outside of the film? No, no it doesn't. Uh, the only thing that really affected my mindset was obviously when I was shooting I had a mustache. Mm -hmm. And so it was very, <laughs> You forget. You forget a lot of the time. Yeah. And I had to keep a reminder. Like, I'd look at the mirror like, oh, yeah, I forget. I have a moustache. So easy to forget that you have a moustache. It's easy. Yeah. So easy. Moustache. Moustache, yes. We know a lot about Tom Cruise, that yeah. he's famously very nice. Have you gleaned anything that... Uh, it's really bad. It's really bad or, or something we don't know, yeah. He does chop his salad really small. Oh. But he said, I guess I can get quicker and eat and walk at the same time. WWTD, what would Tom do? <laughs> what would Tom do? As an actor, how important is it for you to change your appearance from film to film? I don't want to be the guy who relies on tricks. There's right. always just a different appearance. I want a bit of both. I think an appearance is very, very useful and I do like to chameleon myself into another character. Mm. In the same way that theater actors do, that is a real art as well. And so I want to utilize that at the same time as utilizing all the wonderful tricks of, of film and having, having these different looks every time. Makes total sense. So let's say you could get one of those IMF masks yeah. and uh, you could impersonate anyone, who would it be? I'd disguise myself as Edgar Wright and uh, go on set of a film one day and um, give everybody a big kiss. So the next day, he'd be the subject of an investigation. <laughs> there you go. Get him in a little trouble. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there's something about you that's giving off a little bit of a Clark Kent vibe right now. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I shaved my mustache. Makes sense. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. The way it moves. <laughs> Well, that was a good time. Mission Impossible Fallout opens in theaters everywhere this week. Go see it. It is nonstop action. Big thanks to the cast and to Mr. Henry Cavill for being such a good sport. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>